To know you, who who is Andy Tyler? Tell tell me who Andy Tyler is. Where are you from? I'm from Paris. I'm from Paris, born right. and raised in Paris. And um, yeah, I'm a rapper. Mo like, that's like my first. My now, first do you like being called a rapper, or do you prefer just being known as an artist? No, I like I like to be called a rapper okay. because that's that's like what I. That's the first thing that I. How can I say this? Like I said, that's like my first hat. You know what I mean? Right. I'm definitely an artist because I do a lot of things. Like I, I do the direction of all of my my visuals or like even with my music, the production and, and all of that. But like, I really consider myself an MC and like a rapper. That's, okay. that's like, yeah. So how did you, what age were you when you realized you wanted to, to do this? What age were you when you fully realized that this is what you wanted to do with your life? You wanted to be this Andy Tyler, the rapper, all around artist, but f formally for music, say, say, okay. a rapper. So the thing is, like, when I first, I rem I remember when I was re very young, I used to like watch Disney Channel, and then like they used to be singing and stuff like Hannah Montana and stuff like that. Of course. And I was like, nah, that's that's what I want to do. But I was like really young, like five or six or something. Okay. And then, like, um, I got introduced to like hip hop through my my best friend at the time, older brother, and then from there, I just got into it, and then, yeah, because at first I wanted to be a singer, but I lost my voice, and I started rapping, and then, yeah, from that point, that point on, I just, I fell in love with hip hop and the whole culture, and shit like so, that. Yeah. So, tell us all, like, tell, tell them, how did you find yourself in Atlanta, Georgia? Um... Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I grew up in Paris, so people right. don't really don't speak English at all over there. Right. You know what I mean? It's French. So yeah, it's as French as it gets. <laughs> yeah. So I have I have a lot of friends in in the UK, right? And so I have a I have most like a lot of my audience is from there. Like a, a, a good part of my audience is from there. But I just wanted to like have an audience in in the US, and a lot of the biggest artists. Um, come from Atlanta. I mean like the last I'd say yeah, of course seven seven to eight years. That's the place. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, so are you place. into trap music as well then? Yeah definitely, definitely. At first the thing is at first I wasn't all the way into the trap music. I was more of like a traditional hip hop head. But then yeah, I just I just love like trap music and then I'm a big three six mafia fan. Like Juicy J is one of my favorite rappers. Okay. So so yeah and also future is and Young Thug recently, I, because at first, I always loved Young Thug, but not as I do now. Now I you feel, like him I even found, more. Yeah, I found I found like um. Yeah, I just I didn't I didn't get it all the way at first. Right. Yeah, like how impactful and how dope he was as uh, he is as as an artist. Pioneered. In yeah, the yeah, industry, yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Yeah. Well, cool. So basically, you know, I wanted to ask you more so about your most recent project, your album, um, and I want you to tell us all about it. I want you to tell, how did you come up with the concept for your album, and how did you know that's what you really wanted to pursue? Um, the thing, I, I, I wrote that song uh, called Also oh Fogamatic in 2020, in 2020, okay. and um, when, I was when I was working on the song, I was trying to find like a word to describe like me being fresh but not without saying that or without saying that I'm fresh or without saying like um like basically create my own term because like I'm like drip type thing yeah, yeah, a, yeah, new, yeah. a new term for style exactly exactly so I, I created the word fog fog and then and then and then from that point I just ran with that term you know and and that term really means like um it kind of describes, I don't know if you, you're familiar with the, um, the term sublimation. Nah. Yeah, yeah, so basically it's like when water turns into gas. Okay. So when, when it's 
Oh, no, yeah. no, no, when, um, when ice turn into gas. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's like when, when, I, when it gets so cold, like ice can be contained, it can stay in like um, in a solid state, so it just turn into gas. So it just, it's, it's, it's like um, me being so cold that I can just be, I can just be cold or like wavy or like drippy. It's like I'm foggy. You know what I mean? So that's 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 how I came up with the um, the concept for the project. So I just pulled out my phone here because I just wanted to say my personal uh, favorite track on the album "Immerse in the Fog" um, is "Oh So Fogmatic." Oh really? So uh, <laughs> I just really I wanted you to tell us exactly how you came up with this concept of fully pursuing this idea of fog and whatever um, idea behind it is like how did you get from how did you get from coming up with this term to really wanting to produce a whole album around it and really try and you know pioneer um, a new direction right, right, right. you know in music um I feel like with that song um a lot of like very good artists started to like gravitate around what i was doing and also it felt like the first time with music that i felt like i found like my own identity when it comes to like yeah music and me as an artist so so yeah i just felt like that was that would be a good thing to like build the whole word around it so yeah and in uh, in one of the on one of the tracks, um, it's like um, I think it's an interlude track. Right. It's on um, what is it? Is it is it Andre Leon Tally? Yeah. I want you to tell us tell us about that. Tell me about it. What what okay. inspired you to do something like that on this album? Yeah, I remember when I was like, um, see, I don't know how, what grade it is in 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 the U.S. because I'm I'm from I'm from Paris. So it's not you the are same. From Paris. It's not the same thing. But when I was like, um, I, I, like fourteen, I remember I used to, I, I was in class with this girl, and she used to diss me all the time about like my music and and how she used to diss you in terms yeah. of the music you would listen to. No, no, the, the music, music that I was make that I, that was making. Oh, when and you were how, in school, and how I looked and, okay. and stuff like that, like my my looks and stuff. So I was just like, that would be that would be like funny to like add this in, in into the project okay so because these, so that's actually her on the track no that's not her oh hey, i don't that's, know that, that's not her bro but yeah that was like me like recreating okay like, like uh, it'd be funny if you got her i don't know yeah that, <laughs> <laughs> no that wasn't her but um but yeah and also obviously i have like a very unique look so i can imagine like people, tell us what do you what's uh what are you wearing here today Describe, um, uh, how'd you come up with this? I mean, shit. When it comes to, like, the fog, I just, um, I just pick whatever I feel like is... is so would you say sick. this is foggy, what you're wearing? I mean, of course. Everything I wear is foggy. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm the embodiment of, like, fogginess, you know what I mean? But, um, of course. yeah, this is, like, a sunny jacket and, like, Prada, ja uh, Prada jacket, and, yeah. That, and how'd you decide that's this is this is what I'm going with today? Cause it's foggy, man. It's just foggy. That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Nah, I I I fuck with it seriously. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me think. So, basically, you just released um a music video for um which one of the, which song was it for? I dropped two videos. Uh, one for Hear My Dear, like Hear um about about a month ago. Yeah. And, and then one, most recently the other day. Yeah, Radio Pack. Radio pack. So Radio pack. Radio pack. Yeah. So tell me, how did you come up with the? Uh, I I watched the video. Yeah. I loved it. I yeah. want to know how you came up with that story to tell, visually, to match it to the song. Because basically, the the song Radio Pack is about like being focused, not being like dis distracted about um, like negative energies or like you know when you work on a project like being like yeah being fully focused basically. And uh, because radio pack, radio pack is like a term um, describing, like uh, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, you know what opaque means? Uh, you don't know? Tell me. Um, 
but I'm terrible with explanations. But no, that's right. Um, basically, radio big is like um, when X rays can see through something, okay. like like for instance, like you, like for instance, you know the bones are radio big because okay. when, when you have like the radio um, radio scans, right. Like you can, like a you radiologist, can see through, they, you can they see read through, you can you can see through the the bones basically. Okay, I understand. So, so basically, yeah. So that's that was the the concept of the song, and um, so in the video, it's like me fighting like someone that's like the embodiment of negative energies, and like at first he's like he's like fucking with me, and I'm not I'm not really reacting to it, and then as the as the video goes on, we have we have like a full on fight, and uh, of course I came out victorious. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> and it's on your YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah everyone yeah. can go find it. It's on your YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your YouTube channel? Uh, Andy Tyler. Just Andy Tyler. Yeah. So, Andy Tyler, mm -hmm. I uh, I also I wanted to ask you about. There's a video on your Instagram. It. It pretty much here. I'm just I'm, I'm just confirming. It's why I'm taking on my phone, but it really just to me it stuck out. I was going through your feed. I was looking at it, and I was like, "Wow, this is really something." Hmm. And um, it's a video, and it looks like it's shot somewhere in Europe. Okay. Um, do you mind Do you mind going into further explanation on? How you picked where to shoot this? Um, where was the was the video? You're the about? here. Well, which one is it? Let me see. I just pretty sure. Are you talking about the here my dear video? Here my dear video. Yeah. Here my dear video. Yes, 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 yes. So, wait, what, what was the question again? So I want, I want, I love the scenery in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love all the aspects of just different something. It's something different, and I just I want to know okay, how you came wait, up with so that. So what was different to you? about this the mostly honestly it was the shots the okay. shots i love the shots i love how it just kind of i didn't even think honestly that it matched what i thought the song to be but then i saw it he went after after listening to the music and understanding the uh album a little bit more and i did pick up on it and i just wanted to ask you how did you figure out this is exactly what you wanted to do for that video. Because to me that was a lot more, it's a lot more um, cinematic than uh, the Radio Pig video. Okay. And I just wanted to know how you came up with that. Um, and what does it mean to you? I mean the song is about like, he has like a fashion theme to it. So I'm, I'm, I'm from Paris, okay. so I shot some, some shots in Paris. I don't really know what was the inspiration. You know a lot of times like, ideas just come to me like I don't even really think about it like that you know I mean? oh, but yeah a lot of the shots were inspired by like um, fashion um, ads advertisements and shit like that like um, old school ones and stuff, stuff like that. Yeah. Like campaigns yeah. and do you want to go into fashion like for instance my bad like for instance the first the first scene of the um, of the video of the video is inspired by um, uh, Dior, J'adore, uh, okay. the, um, the, the campaign, I mean, the, the, uh, the advertising. Yeah. Okay, and do you want to you wanna design your own clothes? Do you want to go into fashion as well, simultaneously while doing... I mean, I, desi I, I designed some of, the, some of my clothes in, in my videos. Like, for oh, instance, okay. in the Radio Pay video, the jacket that I'm wearing, I'm, I designed it with my friend um, Mathieu Teva. And um, in is he the, also from France? Yeah, 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 yeah he is, he is. Um, and in the "Hear My Dear" video, the um, the fur set that I'm wearing, um, it was designed by me and Matteo Tepa too. So, um, yeah, and also the the um, the outfit that I'm wearing um, is like a. It was inspired by the um, the character that I created, Fogbound the Ice Dome. That yeah. And I want to I want to get a little bit I want to get a little bit personal here. Right, go ahead, go ahead, bro. <laughs> when you're like a therapist. Or something. No, well, yeah, you know when artists get, get the, when they have when they get lost and stuff. You may have uh huh. Just make sure the I think you may have kicked the audio. I just want to make sure it was still run. Yo, uh, 
All right, so I want to get a little bit personal, and I wanted to ask you this this album. Yeah. Where do you see yourself going with this leap? Like, you officially have released your first ever album. Right. right. You know, you want to do more in the future, but what exactly do you want to do? The, the thing is, I wouldn't necessarily call this an album. I would call it like a, an introduction project. An introduction project, yeah, okay. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of people, back in the days, they used to like, like call projects like mixtapes or like right, right. EPs and stuff. But I feel like this is a bit more than that. You know what I mean? It's kind of like um, when Drake dropped So Far Gone. Okay. It, it wasn't just like a mixtape, you know what yeah. I mean? It was, like it was a project. More, yeah, it was a project, but right. it wasn't an album though, Right. you know? Or um, how when like Travis dropped Days Before Radio, you know, yeah. it's 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 more than just a, a simple mixtape, you know. So so um, there's that, and um, I feel like with this project, it just how can I say this? It's like a, when people want to know about Andy Tyler, they can listen to that project and kind of understand like this what, is where it is. Yeah, yeah, it's like a first glimpse of what I can offer. So what do you have planned for us then, all of us fans out there? I mean, with this project, it's more like turn turn up music or like people you can listen to like at, like either at, at the club or like at a party or something. Like, like, and like very high energy. And for my next project, it's, it'll be more like personal. I'll just talk about more about my life, like, um, or talk about like deeper subjects whereas on this project it's more about about like flexing and like you know what i mean being foggy and stuff being you know foggy, what i mean that's, that's that's why um i feel like on this project you can see the the character of folk bound the ice dome shine through more you know what i mean it's like both tell, tell us more about that character who is that to you so basically i was when i was working on the direction of the project i was working with uh, my friend sendo and he was like, you need to like create a character, like, like for instance, how Kanye created like the, I mean, ha, like how Kanye had like the teddy bear, and how yeah, like um, um, Travis had like uh, the the doll. Right. You, know, you need to like, he told me you need to like create like a character, just like how they did it. So I huh. created like this, um, the folk about the Ice Dome character, which is inspired by um, Inu, uh, Inuit culture. Okay. Um, to like follow the, the like foggy cold like theme of the of the project and um, yeah like the so basically fuck about the eyes don't miss me but like a, a side of my personality where I'm just be I'm, I'm just like a, it's an alter ego yeah I'll say like yeah okay it's an alter ego yeah, yeah. and that brings me to my next uh, question for you is so the sounds that people are going to hear on this album what did you want them to feel and what did you want as a rapper for the audience what did you want them to know about you and what did you want them to hear from this the thing is about me is um i always want to offer something new to the table like kind of like how when i was coming up i, I was listening to like kanye and like asap rocky and then Listening to their music, it was just so re uh, re uh, refreshing, you know, when it comes to their music. Different. Yeah, it was different, and it wasn't just the music, it was the whole experience, like the how they used, how they was dressing, and um, yeah, the visuals, and, and the music, the lifestyle, you know, so I always want to um, offer something, some, something new to the table, and I feel like with this project, it's like, a unique sound that that only Andy Tyler is, is doing, you know, like very um, very industrial, um, a lot of um, electronic sounds, but it's also very traditional when it comes to like the bars and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, traditional in terms of like you know tra traditional hip hop. You know what I say? Okay, traditional hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think we only have a couple more minutes here. But I really wanted to know. I mean, we can we can keep going just a bit more. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I just I want to know 
where you're what are you jumping to next what is next immediately on the radar like you're only in Atlanta for a few more weeks what are you trying to accomplish here in that amount of time and when you go back to Paris what are you trying to get done before your next project yeah um with Atlanta I'm just trying to meet like more people you know what I mean um, more artists more creatives um like maybe perform you know what i mean i try to find like some some events that i can perform at and when it comes to like the future I, yeah i just want to get into like more performances because you know i'm i'm very good when it comes to visuals and i want to i want to like jump into like the whole performance thing where like the uh, with stage design and stuff oh, you like you want to do the whole production yeah 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 and like yeah really bring like um, the experience to like a, an, an, an another level alright so I want to know what makes you different than all the other artists out there that have the same dream same vision that you have I know it's a hard question to ask it's very you know general yeah, yeah. but I really want to know, you know, like, who, why is Andy Tyler an, the best artist, the biggest artist of this generation? Um, because I feel like, especially, especially now, people don't try to, like, be different or try to be the best version of themselves when it comes to, like, the music. And also, I feel like I, I really have, like, a... A high taste level, you know. What I mean right. that people don't 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 have just generally speaking, you know what I mean. Um, I also do a lot of research on like me trying to like innovate when it comes to like my sounds, all my visuals, and like really bring something new to the table. Like I said before, you know. So. Well, I personally love the production. Yeah, you yeah. know, that was one of my favorite parts when I listened to it. I just said, "Holy shit." This production's like it, and I, I gotta you say, know? I gotta thank my my guy Brack because he he helped me like um, shout out Brack. Yeah, <laughs> he helped me like find find my sound when it comes to like this project and just yeah. So That's awesome. yeah, shout out to him. Man. Shout out Brack. <laughs> For watching. Shout out you Brack. But yeah, um, so yeah, I, I can just play you some of the songs. Uh, yeah, let's hear it. I'd love to hear it. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. So, over there, you know, I didn't, I didn't say anything, but I want you I to tell me, uh, I want you to tell me a little bit about this blue turquoisey, uh, almost makeup thing going around your face. Tell, tell me, what is that? What is that? Yeah. So basically, it's inspired by Ethiopian hairstyles, okay. and um, they be putting clay, red clay, on their hair, and then from the, the residue of the clay, just get in the, on that part of the face, you know what I mean? So that, that, was, that was the inspiration. Okay. That. Yeah, and on the, my video, um, Radio Bake, I did the same thing, but like with, with the different colors, so that, that was like my my take on, I mean, not my take, but like my, me, uh, like, getting yeah, inspired by you just their culture. It. Yeah, 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 that's cool, that's yeah. cool. So, we're over here, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna show us a few, a uh, couple of, or a few tracks. Right, uh, right, right. That you want to play for us, and um, so tell us, what are you, what are you gonna play? What, what do we got going on over here? Yeah, I'm just gonna play um, "Y'all Shall Fear Me." Okay. So basically, that track is like, um, like a, yeah. So I have a friend that's like a DJ, and he was playing like some um, at my piano at, at like a, at a party, and at that time I didn't know what what what, was, what the genre was. Right. But I, I, I really fucked with it, so I, um, I asked him what it was, and he was like, "Yo, that's at my piano." And then the day after, I went to his crib because we was supposed to like work on the designs um, of an outfit for my videos. Uh, so basically, that, that friend is uh, Matteo Teva that I, that I talked oh, to right. you about earlier. Yeah. And um, he was like, "You should make a at my piano uh, song mixed with trap music." And cool, so that's man. that's what I did for that song. Um, and right. I called the the so, the the genre, then this new subgenre at my fog. Where let's hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. 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 
called based on what the fuck going on, man. Geek like seed of the vein. God, do you wish? You won't see a week. You won't make it home and family weak. This shit is shit. This shit is sick. The swampiest, foggiest, muddiest, glorious, godliest, sturdiest, neebiest, goriest. So, yeah, when I was working on that song, um, I just asked a few of my my fellow producers if they could help me like making make, to make the song but nobody really like got the vision so I, I, I produced it myself with um, my friend Heartbreak but it was mostly me basically who made the beat and yeah that's awesome yeah man what else you got for us here um I'll just play Joyous that's that's the last song that we we added to the project because okay. uh, my friend Joyous one of my favorites yeah I love I love Appreciate I love it, the beat yeah yeah so basically, my friend was was listening to the project, and he was and he wanted to be on the on the project. Uh, my friend Brack, he was listening to it, and he was like, "Yo, I need to be on the project." So we just cook up this uh, cooked up this this track. Produced on that on that track, um, I made the the all the, the, the strings and like the, the structure of the song. And my, my friend Brack made the, the drums. How so, many uh how many tracks uh, on the album did you produce? I produced that track uh, on that track. Uh, Y'all shall fear me and the last the last one uh, so come to me. But I also like executive produced like all the tracks. All the tracks, yeah. right, right, and. Joy, uh, it's a lot of. How many artists were on that? How many artists collaborated with uh, that you project? Have, you have four That's artists. Awesome. You have me, Brack, um, Chialoka, my friend Melo, and also my friend Era on the, on the background. And how did you find it working uh, with with other artists and producers? Do you think it made the song better? Do you think? What do you think it does for you when you do stuff like that? I mean, especially for that song, like we had a lot of back and forth with with Brack because. Like he's really, he's just, he's just like me when it comes to like music. He's very, when he has his vision, he's a perfectionist. Yeah, yeah, basically. So, so that that was good. I feel like we got, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely sure we got the best out of it. So, so yeah, man. Well, listen, I love the project. Um, everyone else should go stream it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's fucking amazing, honestly. Um, I'm glad we could do this. I'm glad we could meet up. It was a pleasure. Hey man, thank you, thanks for everything. Of you know no, thank I mean? you, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was this was a great time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my, right. my man, great. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah.